Example one, determine the area of the shaded region in the following figures. Example one, determine the area of the shaded region in the following figure. We see the graph of y equals to x and the curve y equals x squared minus three. And the region bounded by these two graphs, you can see that the line y equals to x is above the curve y equals x squared minus three for the entire region. First of all, we are going to find the intersection point, which is the lower bound and the upper bound of the graph. To find the intersection point, we let y1 equals y2. y1 is 2x, y2 is x squared minus 3. And solve quadratic equation. Factor completely, we have x minus 3 times x plus 1. We get x equals 3 or x equals negative 1 as the intersection point. Negative 1 over here is 3. This will be your lower limit and upper limit of the integration. Next, to find the area, how do you know it's with respect to x or with respect to y? As you form the small rectangle and pretend that you move this rectangle along the shaded region, it stay in the same the same way as a vertical bar. That means the, the chain in x or the delta x remain as the width of the bar. Delta x is the same as dx that tells you this integration is with respect to x. To find the area a, set up the integration from lower limit negative one, upper limit three. The upper graph, in this case, the upper graph is dx. The lower graph is x squared minus three with respect to x. The integrand form the height of this bar. And the dx is the chain in x or the width of this bar. Simplify a little bit more for the integrand. We have 2x minus x squared plus 3 with respect to x. Next, use the antiderivative formula for each term. First term, we have x squared. Next one, we have minus x to the third over 3 plus the last term, 3x. Evaluate from negative 1 to, negative, to positive 3. Substitute the value into the terms of 3 squared minus 3 to the third over 3 plus 3 times 3. Subtracted by the quantity from the lower limit. Sorry. Which is negative 1 quantity squared minus negative 1 to the power 3 over 3 plus 3 times negative 1. Simplify completely. We will get 32 over 3 or 10 and 2 thirds as the final result.